So this is the next question, 7c. Realize the system function where the system function they have given it as a transfer function as 1 plus 3 by 2 z inverse plus 4 by 5 z to the power minus 2 plus 5 by 9 z to the power minus 3 plus 1 by 9 z to the power minus 4 using direct form. Using direct form method we should be solving this problem. Okay, again I'm in my theory classes I've told you how to solve these kind of problems. First you should be checking for linear phase condition. Okay, before proceeding. Uh, linear phase condition says that the first and last term coefficient should be same second and second last coefficient should be same okay then only the uh, linear uh, phase condition satisfies then uh, for that we should be uh, writing different structure of direct form so in this case the linear phase condition is not satisfied because the first and last term coefficients are not the same so we should be doing the standard direct form procedure that is we should be finding first y of n for that we should be writing the direct form structure right so using h of z how we can find y of n is First, we know that h of, h of z is a transfer function which is defined as y of z by x of z. So do that and uh, x of z you multiply to this term, to this whole term here. So we would be getting y of z as x of z plus 3 by 2 x of z z inverse and so on. And now take the inverse uh, of this plane so that we would be getting y of n. So y of n is equal to x of z would be replaced by x of n. 3 by 2 x of z z inverse again it is shifted by one term so x of n minus 1 plus 4 by 5 x of n minus 2 plus 5 by 9 x of n minus 3 plus 1 by 9 x of n minus 4. So this is a required y of n right. For this you should be writing the direct form block structure which I have written it here you can see here that is so this was the direct form block hope it is clear the procedure is first you should be they would be giving you the transfer function h of z okay. So using that transfer function, you should be uh, according to the definition of transfer function, you should be writing y of z by x of z. Okay, then multiply x of z to other side. Uh, then so that we would be getting only y of z term. Then take the inverse transform so that we would be getting y of n. So using that system function of y of n, whatever equation we have got, for that you should be writing the direct form block structure. Okay, like this. So hope it is clear. Uh, the first condition is you should be checking for linear phase. So linear phase condition you know right. First and last term coefficient should be the same. Second and second last coefficient like that. If it is same then the linear function is uh, linear phase is satisfied. For that we should be writing the separate block structure of direct form. So this was the solution. Note it down. This is the next question. 8a. A filter is to be designed with the desired frequency response that is HD of e power j omega. They have given it as it is 0 for the values of omega tending from minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4 and it is e power minus j 2 omega for the values are from pi by 4 to pi. Okay, if you observe this carefully you can understand that this is of the form high pass filter. So here we can see that the values of omega from minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4 is 0. That is it blocks the low, uh, low frequency components and allows the high frequency components. So we can say that this is the high pass filter. So yeah sometimes they would be giving the question like this also where uh, they won't be mentioning either low pass or high pass filter. They would be giving you the desired frequency response from that you should be guessing whether it is low pass or high pass. So I, we have analyzed this and written this plot here of high pass filter. For this we should be finding the, designing the FIR filter and also find the frequency response of the FIR filter using the rectangular window with the length equal to 5. Okay, they have mentioned the, to use the rectangular window. So again uh, this is, it's clear right, they, they, are, they are allowing only high pass frequency components and low, uh, low frequency components are blocked. So we should be using the high pass filter by you should be doing the separate limits for uh, impulse response HD of n for these two terms. Okay. First thing is write the for find the term alpha. Okay. That is uh, here in this case it don't need to find because here we are they have already mentioned it as two. So again if you want to find it you can write find it that is alpha is equal to n minus one by two and the length of the sequence is five. So five minus one by two that is four by two. So alpha would be equal to two. Now the impulse response HD of n desired impulse response is given as uh, 1 by 2 pi uh, interval of minus pi to pi here since it is a 5 pass the total interval from minus pi to pi so that is equal uh, 1 by 2 pi integral of minus pi to pi HD of omega e to the power j omega and d omega this is the formula now you should be splitting the limits from minus pi to minus pi by 4 
and pi by 4 to pi according to this question right so split that limits and write it as 1 by 2 pi minus pi to minus pi by 4 pi by 4 to pi and uh, substitute the value of hd of omega according to the question that is e to the power minus j to omega okay then uh, do the necessary calculation uh, then take uh, j omega common so we will be left with j omega n minus 2 d omega here both the terms then uh, uh, take the integration of this part that is uh, uh, e to the power j omega n minus 2 divided by the coefficient of omega since we are doing with respect to omega the coefficient of omega is j n minus 2 that we should be dividing okay so e to the power j omega n minus 2 divided by j n minus 2 in both the cases and the limits you should be writing from first is from minus pi to minus pi by 4 minus pi uh, pi by 4 to pi so hd of n you would be getting 1 by 2 pi into substitute the limits that is the upper limit minus lower limit e to the power minus j in place of omega minus j pi by 4 since we are having minus pi by 4 minus j pi by 4 n minus 2 minus lower limit that is e to the power minus j pi n minus 2 plus here this term here again uh, upper limit is pi so e power j pi n minus 2 minus the lower limit e to the power j pi by 4 n minus 2 whole divided by j n minus 2 since it is common for these two terms so I have written it together now now some of the rearrangements are required according to uh, write this in form of sign so we know that e to the power uh, j pi n minus 2 minus e to the power minus j pi n minus 2 divided by 2j is sin theta that is sin theta formula you know right e to the power j theta minus e to the power minus j theta divided by 2j in place of theta what we are having now pi n minus 2 this would be satisfied here by rearrangement but if you observe this term that is e to the power j pi by 4 n minus 2 the we can write it in this sign form but the signs are interchanged so that's why in order to make it in the standard form just multiply minus and write this term first that is e to the power minus j pi by uh, sorry this term first that is e to the power j this is j okay e to the power j pi by 4 n minus 2 uh, since we have, have multiplied minus sign outside so this would be turned to positive term now My, and this would be termed to negative term that is minus e to the power minus j pi by 4 n minus 2 divided by 2j so again this is of the standard form of sin theta where theta is equal to pi n minus 2 in this case so sin pi n minus 2 so here we can take a pi n minus 2 common outside minus sin of in place of theta now we are having pi by 4 n minus 2 so sin pi by 4 n minus 2 whole divided by pi n minus 2 so this is the value of impulse response for n not equal to 2 similarly for n equal to 2 we should be solving here like this that is uh, here you should be substituting the value of n as 2 so this would be e to the power j omega 2 minus 2 that is 0 e to the power 0 is 1 so this whole term vanishes and would be left with only d omega term in both the cases so take the integration of d omega that is omega uh, with the limits and uh, substitute the limits that is upper limit minus pi by 4 minus uh, the lower limit minus of minus pi that is plus pi then plus pi minus pi by 4 so pi plus pi is 2 pi minus 5 pi by 4 minus pi by 4 is 2 pi by 4 take the LCM 2 pi 4s are 8 pi minus 2 pi by 4 so 8 pi minus 2 pi is 6 pi so 2 pi and 6 pi 2 ones are 2 threes are so we would be left with HD of n as 3 by 4 for n equal to 2 so write the separate values of HD of n as a sin pi n minus 2 minus sin pi by 4 n minus 2 divided by pi n minus 2 for n not equal to 2 and for n equal to 2 it is 3 by 4 okay now write the uh, window uh, use the rectangular window and try to find h of n so for that again the length of the sequence is 5 so the values of n varies from 0 to 4 okay 5 values of n so hd of n we should be using this equation put this in the calculator as i have told you in my sessions how to do it okay put this equation in the calculator and check for different values of n the answers again in the calculator keep it in mind you should be keeping in radian mode and complex mode okay then only further proceed without keeping it in radian and complex mode you won't be getting the proper answer so please keep it in mind and the brackets also i have told you in my theory classes how to put the brackets all brackets and all i've told you already so put this equation in the calculator and check for different values of n and we would be getting hd of n since they have told us to use the rectangular window uh, so according to the definition of rectangular window uh, we know that the value of omega n is 1 for all the values of n and it is 0 otherwise so that's why the rectangular window it is multiplied by 1 and this is the whatever answer we get for hd of n that only is our h of n okay so this is the h of n sequence now 
for frequency response for odd uh, length that is n equal to 5 we have a formula that is h, h of omega is given as e to the power minus j omega alpha into h of alpha plus 2 times of summation of n equal to 0 to n minus 3 by 2 where n is the length of sequence h of n cos omega n minus alpha. Now in place of alpha we should be substituting it as 2 since alpha is equal to 2 according to the question. So h of alpha is h of 2, uh, 2 into summation of n equal to 0 to 5 minus 3 by 2, 5 minus 3 is 2, 2 by 2 is 1. So n equal to 0 to 1 h of n cos omega n minus 2 again. So e to the power j uh, h of 2, h of 2 from this you can say this is h of 0, h of 1 and this is h of 2, 0 0.75. Substitute that h of 2 then 2 into then split this summation h of 0 cos uh, uh, 2 omega why because cos omega 0 minus 2 so 0 minus 2 is minus 2 so we know that cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta so that's why we would be getting cos of minus 2 omega is equal to cos 2 omega similarly here h of 1 cos omega then substitute the value of h of 0 and h of 1 that is minus 0 0.159 and uh, minus 0 0.2251 and write, rewrite the term by multi after multiplying with 2 and rewrite the frequency response where this part is the phase and this is the magnitude part okay so this is a problem here frequency response like this it should be solved so this was the solution note it down